Meet Donnie, a slow, steady, and smart tortoise built at one of Korea's top robotics universities. Fitted with 12 motors, a computer, and a 3D printed shell, it mimics an actual tortoise, strength over speed. It's the brainchild of engineering young gun Seung Hyun Lim, who hopes to see it in space one day. Most bio-inspired robots are focused on the fast and agile animals, but we want to focus on the tortoise's energy-efficient locomotion. I've come to Daegu to meet this hero in a half shell. Hey, look Good at morning. this. Good morning. Good to see you. And this is your creation. Have you ever watched or read Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I want to see some turtle power in your tortoise. Oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> there it goes. That's so cute. It can carry up to 50% of its body weight. Or in this case, he's got a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> Go, tortoise, go. Weighing one kilogram. He's doing it. Yeah. Well done. That's good. It's able to carry heavy loads thanks to its unique belly dragging motion and gait. Good boy. What do you want it to carry in the future? What kind of payload do you envision? I think it, this technology can be used for the, like space exploration yeah. because the energy is limited. Yeah. So in that environment, I think this robot can carry some heavy equipment. All right, time to rest. There we go. Oh. Sorry, buddy. In the lab, the team is working on a system so Donnie can find his way home using AI-based autonomous navigation. Trained with data from other quadrupeds like robot dogs, he's able to be shown an image. It's a tortoise robot. This is your goal. OK, go yeah. for it. And then try to find where it was taken all by himself. Good job, tortoise. You did it. Lim is part of a lab that's taking inspiration from nature to rethink robotics design and movement. Through the evolution of the animals, they have their own characteristics and they have their own advantages. So we can just apply that advantage to the robotics to solve many robotic problems. The team is developing everything from a remote controlled bird that could one day conduct aerial surveys to a soft robotic fish to monitor the health of underwater ecosystems. They've even made their own hoverboard. It was inspired by this chase scene with Marty McFly in Back to the Future Part 2. He's on a hoverboard! Full disclosure, this has nothing to do with biorobotics, but while we're here, we have to try it because this is cool. Ready? Wish me luck. All right. But unlike the pros, I'm using training bars today. 12 horsepower turbines lift me three centimeters off the ground. It moves where I move, a true test of balance. I think I'm really worrying him right now because I don't want to break his hoverboard. Sorry. But back to what we really came for. In the lab, another team is reimagining search and rescue robots. Slithering and sidewinding, this is the Robo Snake. Can I pick up your snake robot? Oh, sure, but you should be careful. Can Why? I you. I, come on. <laughs> I'm not scared. Yeah. Whoa! There we go. Whoa! Ooh. Its movements feel unpredictable, like a, like a live animal. OK, it's kind of out of control. <laughs> Here we go, buddy. The team studied snake biomechanics to mimic how the real reptile moves. Uh, our robot uh, doesn't have any legs, so yeah. we can use this robot like this. <gasps> Swapping muscles for motors, it can wriggle into tight spaces. It can reach areas that traditional robots yeah. can't get into. Yeah. That is incredible. Ooh. And they've taken it a step further with the quadnake, a four-limbed robo-snake that can walk 
Oh my gosh! Transform. It can sideline like snake robot. I've never seen a quadruped robot move like this before. And even throw down some moves. You got this. Keep going. Quad Keep going. <laughs> The team are testing out the robot's 24 degrees of freedom, or the multiple ways it can move its limbs on this obstacle course. It can change its body height to adapt in the environment. Enabling it to be used in search and rescue operations, they say. We often face some trouble or some problem in design control, and we can get a solution from biomimicry. So from that, they can invent a total new robot system. It will take more hard work before we see their robots in the real world, but these students are ready to build a future where tech makes our lives easier. Fulfilling a dream for Lin. I was into the robotics when I was very young. We usually watching some animations about robots, but I don't want to be the pilot in that animation. I just want to be the doctor who built that robot. But before I leave, I have one last task. Over the years, I've met and even been left in the dust by a number of fast robots. I was bested by far by a robot. So now it is time to finally get my revenge. I need vindication. Yeah, are you ready? <laughs> Take your mask. I'm ready. Get set, go. Yes! I just beat a robotic tortoise. I kicked its shell. <laughs> okay, it's not exactly a fair race, but this guy's been built for something more than speed, and I can't wait to see what the future holds next. All right, that was good, little buddy. You did a good job. You did a good job. 